Yeah, we've got solar panels on the roof. Solar panels heat the tank of hot water in the house. Yeah. And then when the sun's out, day like this. And then what we do is we take the hot water from our tank, just put the hose into our sink mm -hmm. in the kitchen, plug it into the hot tub, and we get free hot water. Happy days. Hi right, everyone, welcome. It's Ryan here and today's video is all about what you can see behind me. It's my IBC container hot tub, which I built uh, seven or eight years ago, possibly a little bit more. As you can see, it's just covered with stuffed toys and uh, not been used um, this year or last year. So it's been nearly two years since I've opened it up and used it. Um, it should be absolutely fine though. Every time I do come to use it, every summer, um, and sometimes during the winter, close to Christmas and stuff like that. Um, after that, I do generally leave it for a good few months, say Christmas up until the um, summer again. Open it up, clean it out, fill it up, and it's back to new again. So what I'm going to do now is strip all the toys away, show you what it looks like on the top and inside, give it a clean and get it back up and running again. So it's buried at the moment. I've been sorting out the garden. Um, got my dad's bike there in the way. Got bikes coming out of my ears which i just need to sort out they are really peeing me off at the moment um toys need to get moved and i've just used this as a little storage thing here but this piece of sellotex was the lid and that is how i kept the heat in it's going a little bit rotten um but yeah i want something similar because it's a great insulator and i'm not actually using it um during the night or for a few days does keep such a lot of heat in. Yeah, we need to just get rid of all the cobwebs. We need to get rid of all the rubbish that's fallen down here. Um, here are all the manifold pipes and they go underneath. And I think we do have 12 jets in this. I can't remember. So, right, got the kids pack to help me. This wisteria is really growing, isn't it? God, I cut this back a few months ago and look at it. It's wanting to take over. Um, how do you feel about helping me clean up? Right, we're gonna cut. There we go. Bit higher. Keep going. There we go. There we go. It's nice because you don't see the neighbours. The neighbours are right over there. And it just means we've got a little bit of privacy, isn't it? So the neighbours can't see or hear us. Oh, nearly chopped the light off. Okay, what about these ones? Chop all this back while we're here. This isn't a gardening show, so I'll crack on and do this, and then we'll come back in a moment and get rid of all this rubbish and all the toys. Yeah, we've got the solar panels on the roof. Solar panels heat the tank of hot water in the house, yeah. and then when the sun's out, day like this, and then what we do is we take the hot water from our tank, just put the hose into our sink mm -hmm. in the kitchen, plug it into the hot tub, and we get free hot water. Happy days. Oh, I've got so much crap. I have nowhere to put it. Pictures. Let's just take this. Oh, it's gone. Right, we need to think of another lid now. Ooh, it's a bit horrible in there. We've got slugs in there. We need to get rid of this. Even if we just took it off now, it's just rotting. We'll clean it for now and see what happens. The button to turn the hot tub on and off. I don't think that works anymore, to be honest. And there it is, a bit more Celotex in there. Right, it should look a lot better by the time we've um, got rid of all of this and washed it down. They rested on top of the hot water. And uh, these look fine. I'll keep these, they just need to be cleaned. Always looks a bit mank when you first open it. But a bit of a clean. There we go, our benches. Little float to put the chlorine in. We've got our silver jets at the bottom. Our filter in or out can't remember there's another one just there so one's in one's out for this filter down there this one okay so what i do is i literally just go around with everything i can find in the house yep who knows what to spray on it but i'm just going to cover it with a load of antibacterial and all-purpose cleaner um and just let it soak for a bit and then we'll get the hose in there and disturb it all with um, a broom and a brush and all that sort of stuff. And uh, it will come up nice and clean soon. Let's get some of this in there, eh? Yeah. 
It's going to be clean right at the end, so don't worry about that. We use hot water right at the end to clean it out. And just chuck a bit of that in there. Loads in there. Okay, save so some of this. Right, this needs to be replaced. All this would work. I've been meaning to do it for a couple of years now, but um, not really had the time to do it. Maybe I'll get it done this year. Who knows? But we'll clean it up and make it look a little bit more presentable, at least, if, even if we don't. Um, we can still use it. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in there now. And we'll go and get the hose set up and get a, get a broom or a brush or something and uh, give it a good old clean. Are you trying to see what we're doing? Oh, you can't put that one on top of that one. You fall off. Right. Give it a scrub. Yeah, I think what we'll do is get it wet and then spray it again. But it's fully insulated this it's got sellotex in it sellotex inside from so the plastic and the wood there's sellotex in between two layers at the bottom one layer around the edges and then as you can see all these holes here there's one hole there uh, one hole there so that's all been filled with expanding foam i don't know three three cans i think went into the remaining so it really holds the heat in for days yeah so covering the water up with that sellotex there and putting a Celotex lid on, along with all the Celotex inside the construction, that was enough to um, keep that heat in and basically retain as much heat as possible, not waste the heat. Yeah, because that's most that's the hardest part about a hot tub, isn't it? Keeping the heat in, and uh, it's so expensive to run otherwise. But for me, it doesn't really cost much. Like I said, got the solar panels up there, heat up the water. Uh, if I ever want to top it up, I get rid of 100 litres of water water my grass or water something with it and then top it up with some heated water from my tank that's been heated by the solar panels so yeah give it a good old wash gotta get rid of all that we've got a little bit of mold going on right so the audio went on me for some reason but um yeah um i'm trying to take out the benches here it weighed a ton because the bottom of the tank there was a tiny bit of water that had just been left and the timber has soaked it all up so it was a little bit heavy but i managed to get it out so that's going to get it good clean taking out the filter out of the pump um, the pump filter so this pumps the water around keeps it clean and pumps it through the heater if you need it that little bit at the back of the picture is the heater um, so that's going to get it clean. I'm going to run the hose through that, just um, get rid of all that. Or I could just replace the filter. I don't have any spares. Just a good old clean. I'm um, just showing you the bottom one is the in and the top one is the out of those two um, outlets there. Inlet and outlet, shall I say. And that's where it circulates. It sucks it in from the bottom, the white circle, and it comes out the top. So, yeah, just cleaning up the benches now, just wetting them. Um, they already had a bit of a scrub from earlier when the spray and all the cleaning equipment went on the top and yeah i'm just trying to give it a good old scrub get rid of any debris um every time i've cleaned this out in the past i've never taken those ben benches out and i just it's just it was a godsend really it just meant i could really really go to town and scrub where i couldn't really get to um yeah just disturbing all the water um all the cleaning gear that i put in is really helping just get it all up um so i'll be going around with that brush that you just saw a little bit earlier I've turned the bubbles on there you can see 12 jets now and that's their positioning just to disturb the remaining i've drained it i've scooped out as much of the debris as i can and now i'm filling it up um just with cold water and then well i should have filled it up with hot water first to be honest and then cold but anyway i did it the wrong way around i'm filling it up with half cold and then i'll top it up with hot later um yeah, bench is back in. It's never enough back to new, looking nice and clean. I turned on all the parts, the pump, the heater, the air bubbles, blower, um, and they all work perfectly. So happy days, nothing's broken since it's not been used for a couple of years. We've been in a few times, haven't we? Just a temporary top until I get some more Celotex. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to get some Celotex or some polystyrene, and then I'm going to cover it in some silver PVC wrapping kind of material. Um, yeah, let's go up here and show what we got. I got some um, thermal wrap, quite thick stuff like behind radiators and I've layered four layers together and I've used foil tape to um, bind all four layers together and that's doing a great job of 
keeping it uh, nice and toasty. It's 38.1. Anyway, let's take this off. We're about to go in. Uh, if the ant wants to get in, he can get in. He'll just die. Let's get rid of this. It's done a fantastic job. Really cheap. 25 quid for the roll. The only thing I do need to do is get a top. Got two layers of Celotex too, 50 mil. So these do a fantastic job of keeping it absolutely sizzling um, inside overnight. Um, overnight, it loses no more than one degree. That's in 24 hours, remember. Um, one degree every 24 hours isn't too bad. Um, so we go, it's absolutely clean as a whistle. I'm happy that I took these benches out to clean everything because it got, got a good old scrub. Yeah, this came up nice. This needs replacing, but it's not a job to do right now. Everything else is fine. The blower works still. Uh, maybe I'll do another video of how it all works. If you all want a video on how I've connected it all up, what parts I used, leave some meshes and let me know. Hey. A lovely jabbly. Yeah, it's we like it. The water about here. Don't we? Because yeah. when you're sitting in the benches, because we made the benches about 300 high, when you sit on them, for me, they're up to my shoulder. Um, we've got the chlorine in here as well. So we put our chlorine tablets in there and that just floats in. Um, no, it's still got some in there and I've checked it. The, the levels are fine. So it's, it's all good to go now. We're just going to jump in, aren't we? And, uh, yeah. Yeah, should we get our uh, gear on and then go in? Cool. let's turn this off. So we've got a little remote control plug. Okay, so the blower plugs into that. This is the blower. Um, and then we've got a little remote which activates this. So I don't need to reach around and obviously go near the plugs, which we don't want to do. Okay, we're going in. Can I see what yeah, can I see what we got? It's 35.2. Ooh. Ooh. What's it like? It's a little bit low, it could be a bit higher. You're going to move the, put the rocks underneath to weigh those benches down. Four on each, two and two, two and two. Okay. What's it like, warm? Shall I hurry up and do the, the stones because I want to get in. Shall we turn the bubbles on? We haven't had this for, uh, for a while now. Ready? How's that? Nice. Yeah. It needs more water. Yeah. Go on then. Have a little dip. Is it filling your trunks up? <laughs> Is it hot? Yeah. What are you eating? A tic tac. Tic tac. Smell the chlorine, can't you? Yeah. Smells like you're you're in a swimming pool. Right, let's get in. Hopefully I don't drop my phone in the hot tub. Oh, I do. I get bubbles all the time. What are we on now? We oh. are 37.9. Well worth trying to make one of these yourself. Endless fun for not a lot of money. I think it cost, but you asked me how much this cost and I think when I did build it, it cost me no more than about 500 quid to make it. That was the timber, the IBC container, and all the plumbing. Actually, a little bit more maybe because I bought the heater, which is maybe about 100 quid, 150. But overall, we've had seven years of use, maybe getting near 100 times, and it's fantastic. We're having loads of fun. Anyway, give it a go yourself. If you've got any questions, fire them at me. I try and answer. I'm always busy with work. Um, remember, we do woodworking videos, um, so have a look at all of those two. Other than that, we're going to enjoy our hot tub. Take it easy. Say bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. You want me to film you doing what? The weird thing. The F1 noise, Gannon. 